speed limit on the class. There's nothing wrote in. Here we go. Courtney Bauer. That's from the movie, right, Mike? That they actually. Yeah, they're three D imaging some of the stuff in because they want to be able to do uh, some drifting and some jumping off the road into a field. So they have to use three <laughs> D imaging. That's beyond cool. <laughs> <laughs> mile an hour in the trailer going down the interstate laugh out loud hey florida <laughs> florida pullers are checking in hey we're kind of doing a special show tonight um, mike's a facebook friend of mine and i'm always on social media looking for pulling stuff and i see this tractor really hauling ass mike so <laughs> i think i made a comment and then james Harmon said hey do you want to get a hold of mike and then i was like i think i know that name and then wow so before we get into all the movie stuff and your tractor i just put the 70 mile an hour people up there it's it's a lead in okay it's a hook Right when Walmart puts something on in sale, they put it in the back of the store. Okay, so you go, you go in to buy that item, but you buy three hundred dollars worth of stuff. That's what we did with Mike. I wanted him to do it, so it's all good. Mike, welcome to well, I guess Beer Money Polling Team live. Yeah, We're trying you. to just do more about promote the sport of polling that we all love. I know you've been doing this well. Before we get into all the movie stuff, tell us who you are. Tell us about your family, and let's get into your polling team. Where you pull different things like that, and then we'll get into this whole. Uh, movie crew coming to your house so all right yeah so basically yeah i'm mike bauer um we're out of latimer iowa where's Louis where Bauer. latimer at mike uh that'd be just south of mason city about a half an hour uh right so off what are here. some is that close to rockwell then yeah yeah we're only 10 miles from there okay good i'm yep. just trying to make up my mind or try to locate you yeah so. yep so yeah we started pulling oh it's been probably three and a half years ago um me and the two kids, they, they pull as well. Uh, my daughter, Courtney, and my son, Austin. Um, we kind of travel all over. Wherever there's a, a pull, we'll go. Um, most of the time, we try to run with MPA, uh, pull with them guys, and, and try to stay in the points with them. And that is, um, that's what, that's Midwest Pullers, right? Yep. So I just, um, in the face, in the comments, everybody, I put the link to your pack and heat pulling team. I'm going to bring that page up in here. Uh, here in a second so we can talk through everything. If you're getting here, just join us. Mike Bauer's with us. We're talking about tractor pulling, talking about movies, and we're just, yeah, we want to let you know who Mike Bauer is. So a few more people are going to know who you are tonight before the end of the night. <laughs> That's the plan anyway. So here is your, uh, here's your guys' team, team page. Yep. How many tractors do you have, Mike? We've got four of them now. Four of them. That's, yeah. that's enough. Yeah. So that's enough. Yeah. We had four, and I had sold one, and I... Kind of got stupid again and bought another one. So <laughs> we're back up to four. <laughs> okay. I got my friends chatting on Facebook there. So uh, who's on the screen right there, Michael? That's my boy, Austin. Okay. How old's Austin? Uh, he's 16. Okay. Was he the one hollering in the video when you were going 50 mile an hour in the tractor? <laughs> that was him. <laughs> I, thought so. I heard somebody say, I, I heard, or I saw one of your comments. You could hear Austin hollering in there as well. So Yeah. Yep. Okay, so tell us about that tractor, the class that pulls in, and how long Austin's been driving it. So we built this tractor. Uh, it started out just an original farm all in with a 460 big block. Um, last year, we decided to stretch it out and throw an automatic in front of the 460 into the tractor transmission, uh, and we stroked it and pretty much built an all-new custom frame for it. Um, been working well. It's just been kind of working the bugs out throughout this year 
Yep. How much does that weigh with Austin in it? What class is I, he in? We pull 5,500 on up to 6,200. Okay. So we try to. Try Midwest to Polar people. Association, right? Yep. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Uh, so, this is quick draw. This is this is your tractor. This is the one that's going to be in the movie. How's yeah. this work? Yeah. Okay. That. Uh, yeah. So that's that's kind of the same class as the other one, fifty-five to sixty-two. Um, that's a small block that's in that one uh, with a power glide behind it. Um, that one turns a lot of RPM, so that's about a nine thousand RPM motor. Um, it's got the the fourteen degree head. So everybody that hears that tractor come down the track, they know it's a different sound than what most are. Right. Is this the one that kind of started your pulling team, Mike? Actually, the one before actually is the one that started it all. Okay, this one. Yep. Gotcha. Yep. And then we went on into building this one and and doing this one. Uh, there's there's a picture of quick draw again. I'm just flipping through your Facebook page, so we're, I want to find all four of them. Make sure we talk about those. Oh, there's a patina look there. Ryan <laughs> Ruthie would love that. So that's actually what that one started out like. That's you know, we actually that was kind of the beginning of it. Hey, you got Kaiser Wheels on there. They're a sponsor of mine. Thank you for doing that. Yep, so. yep. good wheels. Pennsylvania Rail fan says mine goes two mile an hour. Well, then you don't want to race Mike, then Pennsylvania Rail fan. So. He's watching on YouTube. Holy crap, Mike. Good story. Um, Monday night, we were interviewing. Oh, I got a Facebook Messenger thing. Keep popping up for my wife's class reunion. Um, <laughs> they, um, uh, oh, we were interviewing the Sandwich Illinois guys because we're promoting that poll for them this weekend. Max Armstrong commented on our, our live. I about, I about yeah. hit the floor. I was like, and it would be Max. I was like, holy crap. That made me feel like, wow, this is, yeah. this is really cool. Yeah, that's neat. This is very cool. I am going to flip screens here. Give me just a second, uh, humans, because I don't want to keep having you guys see all my Facebook Messenger stuff. Uh, Midwest Polars Association. I'll put that up in here as well um, in the comments. This is the group. This is the group that you pull with. Yes, it is. I'm yep. just going to stop sharing. I'm going to share the other screen here. All those Facebook messengers are going to whatever. It is what it is. You guys are going to learn about my wife's class reunion. It, it's, it could be worse, right? <laughs> It could be worse. Um, okay, cool. Let's see here. Get that, pull that back up. Let's see here. Okay. Cody says, I like the old Chevy next to it with the bug shield and all. Where was that picture? <laughs> at, Cody? Um, I think well, I was on, I was on your other page. Here's Midwest pullers here. I got to bring up Mike Bauer again. You're packing heat team. If you have questions for Mike, please type them in the comments or type them into the comments. If you like Mike, type them in the comments. If you don't like Mike, just go away. We're, we're not here to cause <laughs> right? so. um, how is How is the polling season going, Mike? It's been good. We've had uh, some issues here and there uh, with a couple of tractors. Uh, now, like, do, you, do you chase points or do you just kind of go bombing around and having fun? So with Midwest, we're in the points with it. Uh, first okay. year we've done it with them. Um, we thought we'd try it, you know, and it's tough because a lot of the poles are down south so either friday or saturday so it, it takes your whole weekend you know how that goes i do uh, so when you're when you got a family and and whatnot and, and trying to do other things um, uh shelby renzel says mpa is proud to have the pack and heat team so <laughs> thanks shelby <laughs> um again the link to midwest pullers is in is in the comments now for all of you so you can click on that go give their facebook page a like all right mike who's in the picture here buddy so that's a uh, daughter um, and then my boy on the other side, Austin. Um, and Austin's making it rain there. I like that. Place. Yeah. Yeah. He had a good weekend last weekend. Where's it that was, at? That was down there with James at uh, Guthrie Center. Gotcha. Uh, trying to help promote his first one that they've put on down there, him and RD. And uh, yeah, it was a fun weekend. Yeah, James is addicted to tractor pulling big time. He messages me like every day with something he's got. I'm like, I go put it on the beer money pulling team group group, James. I can't keep up with all of us. So yeah, yep. Five, six. Okay, so there's Austin. Yep. Yep. That's so that was this past weekend. Um, okay. He had taken the jackpot class and uh, he had taken second in the, I believe second in fifty five hundred. 
Is this the pool that James had the 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 raffle tractor for um the charity deal? Uh, St. Yeah. Jude. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay, here's our first legitimate question. So, are these similar to the classic mods that we see here in West Central Illinois? Yeah, they are exactly the same. Um, okay. I'm not 100% sure on their cubic inch rules and and length of uh, their tractors, but uh, they're real similar to that. Perfect. Okay, who's the guy on the left? So that's Cody. He is uh, his dad is actually the president of uh, Midwest Pullers Association. Okay. So Cody does a lot with us. Uh, he comes up here and he'll pull in the areas we pull in. And I we, see a John Deere yeah. 730 plowing in the background there too. Yeah. Eight thirty. So. Yeah, they were having a good time that day. Does Austin have a beer money pulling team hat on? He does. He does. Oh, I love you, he Austin. Does. <laughs> I oh, tried I to get them. I tried to get them to stand here with me for a few minutes. And he's being tied. Well, they said, well, if we need to, we'll walk downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. So, yeah, oh, they, it. they do quite a bit of pulling. I love it. Okay, so this, okay, so this all three tractors here? Yep. So locked and loaded, that's your, that's number, what is, is that a Deutz? That's actually a Massey 44. Okay, see, all the, all the true tractor fans are going to be mad at me because I didn't know that. So. <laughs> the color through you. I just, that front end kind of, I'm looking at it crooked too, so maybe that's why. I don't know. Okay, so we got quick draw. What's Austin's tractor? Packed and loaded? Pack and heat. Pack and heat and then yep. locked and loaded. Okay. We got I'm gonna try to line up a picture with Steve Burgess locked and loaded with your tractor there. We'll do like oh. a calendar shoot there. So. Yeah, you know, we didn't even notice that until I don't know, a few months after we had named hers and yep. and uh we had seen his too. No, it's it's awesome. It's awesome. Okay, this is a pull against this is the pull in Guthrie Center. Here comes the comments. Thanks for commenting, guys. That's what makes it fun. Mike, Cro Kevin Kryle. We pull against Mike and his family. Good guy, class act, and tough competition. So thank you, Kevin. Does he have like a classic mod as well? He that does. Like, that's an old Massey, it looks like. That's actually an old farm all. Um, See, I suck at these old tracks. I'm sorry, Mike. <laughs> no, he, uh, him and his dad, they actually, it's a lot of fun pulling with them guys. They're, uh, they are truly like family. I mean, that whole, that whole club is. Now, do you have a do you guys have a diesel truck on your team too? No, so that's Cody's dad's. He's the president of that club. So is uh, that like a two five or a two six? I believe I want to say two six. Okay. Yep. I'm not. I'm not. I'm like you when it comes to tractors. <laughs> the older but, tractors. <laughs> yeah. I've seen so many different uh, classes. It's hard to keep up with all of them. But I, I don't see duels, so I'm assuming two five or two six. I don't think there's many two eight classes around. But um. And that would, that's actually Cody there. Him pulling his. Okay. Now, where would this be at? That was in Madrid this uh, uh, past Saturday. Okay. Do you guys have a do you guys have a big weekend to pull in? Yeah, we pulled Friday night in Nashua. And then uh, Saturday morning, we had to be down to Madrid. And then we went to Guthrie on. Is Nashua the home of the Little Brown Church? Yep. Okay. Man, I remember, I think there was a big NTPA pull there back in the day. I'm 46, and Dad used to drag me all over Iowa when I lived in Iowa. We'd go to a lot of hooks. And I feel like George Hendrickson was always announcing up there, but I'd have to double check. So yeah, yeah, it's kind of a smaller town, but yep. they, they get a lot of stuff in there. No, that's honestly some of the smaller towns have some of the bigger pulls, Mike. So yeah, um, Tom, what's or Tom wants to know, Mike, what's the maximum cubic inch limit for your class? We actually don't have any cubic inch rules. Um, okay. No speed limit, no RPM. We're all open, so it's kind of a run what you brung class. Um, obviously no turbocharged or predator carburetors or or any of that kind of stuff but uh yeah open cubic inch and open rpm so do, do you do a lot of indoor pulling in the winter you know we haven't we might try this year um okay. then we got a few v8 classes out in indiana we might go to okay um, well let me know if you do because we're going to be looking for things to go video this winter so okay uh, yeah we'd like to you know it's it, that's kind of our off time to build what we can. Yep. So. Okay. So four tractors, I've only found three so far. Do you have pictures of the fourth one? Uh, there is one actually. Um, I don't know if it's on. So there's a Chevy pickup that Cody liked with the bug shield on it. So. Yeah. Yeah. So Cody commented there about his dad's truck. It is a two six. Okay. Perfect. So Just a little, little below two six. Gotcha. Yep. Um, 
Yeah, I had just posted actually posted that tractor. Is it on your personal page, Mike, or on the on the pulling? Oh, here we go. So that, that was actually be... another one that we had. <laughs> Atta boy. <laughs> uh, that's a sharp M though. Now yeah, that would have that wouldn't have been like in the small block class, right? That would have been more antique or that had been antique, more of the open class. It was a, it was a hard running machine. That one actually I sold that to a guy in uh, Wisconsin and and then they decided to move to Alabama and and uh, he sold it to a guy in Illinois. So somebody's got themselves a nice antique over in Illinois. Do you remember who bought it in Wisconsin? Uh yeah, Bob uh, da, 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 da. I can't think of what his last name is now. That's okay. I'm putting you on the spot. He actually commented and, and shared your post this afternoon, but uh, okay. cool. Yeah, that was cool. a that was a hard that upset a lot of people that tractor did. Aaron Dooley says Cromwell, Iowa is Saturday. That is that coming up this Saturday? Cromwell? Yeah, maybe? yeah, this Saturday is at I think it was two o'clock this Saturday. Okay. Yeah, the other one's an actual John Deere. Um, what? Yeah, that's that's probably why it's up for sale. <laughs> <laughs> it uh, it just didn't fit in around here, but it was a little bit longer, longer tractor, a little harder to haul all four of these. I'm gonna find a picture of it, but don't don't yeah. you worry. I can't think if it's on our Facebook. Here's or your personal page. We'll go romping right through there. Look through your photos here family 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 good job mine's all pulling photos so i like that <laughs> okay so it's not on the pack and heat team so i think i can probably if you want to send it to me on facebook messenger i can flip on it quick and then jam it out there i'm gonna show off the midwest pullers association a little bit we got twelve thousand people that follow that page that's awesome yeah, that's like I said, they're they're a good group to, to pull with. I think I sent that through to you, so you sure did. There it is. Limited funds. Yeah. So that tell me about that tractor. So that tractor's been around for, for quite a while. We actually had bought it from uh, an older gentleman. Um thought we were gonna be able to make it work with what we did, and we took it to a poll. And it was just, it was really hard for us to try to have all four of them on the trailers that we had. Yeah. Um, it just, for one, it was kind of overloading one of our trailers and, and I didn't want to have any issues being that we travel so far. Um, we really had to jam them in tight and it, it's just one of those things that it just, it didn't work. No, I understand. A, a good turnkey tractor. I mean, it's ready to go. There's, what do you just ballpark? What are you asking for that? If you don't mind? 85. 8,500. So if anybody's looking for a pulling tractor, could they, they could, every state's got classes for this, right, Mike? I would yeah, assume. I mean, from what we've seen, a lot of it, you know, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Illinois, uh, Missouri, Minnesota. I know South Dakota and Nebraska, they all pull them. So if so, anybody's looking for a pulling tractor, what would be the specs on the motor, Mike? Just real high that's, level. That's actually a 355 Chevy with, uh, it's got an automatic 350 behind it. And that's got like a 550 lift cam in it with flat top pistons. And it turns about 75 to 8,000. And what's it weigh? That pulls in 6,600. Perfect. If anybody's looking for a pulling tractor, get a hold of Mike. He'll sell it to you happily. So, <laughs> did you pull in Aquaca, Illinois this past July? We did not. We did not. Okay. No, nope. no. Nope. Shelby says our association is a close one. Shelby must be the boss. She is. She's actually, uh, so Dan is the president, which is Cody's dad. That's okay. his sister. Okay, perfect. So, yeah, they do, they do a great job keeping up with points and, you know, even payouts and stuff. It's, it's probably one of the best clubs for payouts that I've ever pulled with, to be honest, um, especially for what we do. You know, our, we, we're not into the the big money, but it's, it's good payouts. It, it pays for your ways, and so it's nice. That's my goal, uh, Mike, is to pay for fuel every weekend. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if we can pay for fuel and and the other stuff, we we could do with our sponsors. So, yep. Cody says he's going to buy the tractor because the deer liked it when he pulled it. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He did a good job with it. <laughs> good job. Good job. If anybody has any questions for Mike or Midwest Pullers Association, or they want to buy the tractor, uh, we should do like what RJ Simon did with the four engine mod. We should raffle it off, Mike. Yeah, there you go. 
But be careful with that because uh, RJ said that was a little tougher than he thought it was going to be. So once the state of Iowa found out as a $250,000 tractor, then things got real. <laughs> so we might be able to <laughs> yeah. we might be able sneak off yours a little bit, but we'll just have to see. So. Yeah. Somebody is looking for a good turnkey, though. That'd be a cheap, oh, yeah. cheap one to get wow. into it. Yep. No, I like it. Uh, I like that. Like the looks of that, even for a John Deere. That's all. Yep. Yep. Okay. So let's get into this movie thing. So yep. I'm, like I said, there day, guys, I'm going to, I was scrolling through the old Facebook because that's what I do or TikTok. And you put it on our beer money polling team group, Mike, or I saw it or somebody shared it to the group. And mm -hmm. I saw that. And I, like I said, I recognize your name, but I knew I hadn't talked to you before, but I was trying to figure it out. So yeah, um, I'm going to show the video again. <laughs> you guys, this is so cool because this is what caught my eye. And then, uh, then I'm going to have you go into, we're starting at the beginning, how this movie, how somebody in Los Angeles, California finds little Mike Beller from Iowa. So, yeah. Hey, where's this video at? Is this like out by your guys' house or That's what? in front of our acreage here. Yeah. Okay. Yep. It's so awesome. <laughs> You guys are invited to Zellwood, Florida now. Okay. So just so you know. <laughs> we'll have to work on fuel money to get you down there. Yeah. Um, okay. Tell us the story, Mike. I gotta know how how this all come together. So. Yeah, so we were we were actually uh, contacted by a uh, film producer uh, from Los Angeles. Uh, he lives I think he lives now in Kansas, but he's back and forth. Um, contacted us. It's been probably about four or five months ago. Um, at first, we kind of thought it was, it was a, Do you think it was a joke? Yeah. Yeah. I figured my it friends was. are smart asses, Mike, and they do stuff to this all the time. Because I'm always like, yeah. oh, beer money pulling team, blah, 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 blah. And then they'll they'll call ahead to restaurants and have like, say, oh, you're the beer money pulling team guy. I'll buy your supper. I mean, they've just pulled every prank on me they can in the world, Mike. So. Yeah. So we did. We thought it was a, a joke or, you know, a prank or whatnot. So we didn't think much of it. And then when he started to email us and and wanting to set up a time to come out to the house and kind of go through everything that we could offer it kind of exploded from there um it went as far as now they're wanting to use my shop look like we're working on a motor to put into a, a tractor type thing and it's it's leading into using a lot of our barns and even the house and um it's kind of neat, you know. It's it's something that doesn't come across all the time. No, it's it's, super, uh, it's beyond cool. Now, can you name the movie, or is that still kind of don't don't I don't want to get you in trouble yeah. and screw this up for you. So yeah, no, and I actually don't even know. They won't even release that until after the shoots. Okay, uh, it may not even be that soon either. But right. uh, they might not even have a name for it, to be honest. Yeah, it's a lot of it is really confidential right now, just because that's how that works you know yeah no no and i like i said i don't want to screw this up for you i just think it's cool that a pulling tractor yeah. from iowa is going to be featured in a movie and that's really good for our sport right know? and um, it it was one of those things where at first he was saying about racing a mustang and and i thought okay you know are we just going to have just normal speeds of 20 25 mile an hour and make it look like it's faster type thing and he says, well, we're shooting at first. Like I told you on the phone at first, there was, you know, 65, 70. And then they kind of toned it down to we're going to run 50. And uh, so that's what we were doing. We were out testing, making sure I got all the gearing right and and uh, was able to get to that. And, now, did you have any idea the tractor could go that fast? You know, I kind of like you guys, you think of your wheel speed and, you know, you kind of calibrate everything out. And, and that's how I did it. Um, and I figured that, you know, we run on a good track, we can run 23, 23, five. So we should be, you know, at least 30 mile an hour wheel speed, if not a little more. Yep. So I was hoping that we'd be able to get it up there. That's so cool. So. If you're just joining us, Mike Bauer, the pack and heat pulling team from, uh, Latimer, Iowa is on with us and his pulling tractor quick draw is going to be featured in a movie. And again, we're just, it's high level right now. Some of it's kind of confidential, but I just, I wanted Mike to be able to tell a story out here and different things like that. So the guy is from the Midwest and lives in LA now, you think? Or Yeah. Yeah. And actually all of the, the co-producers and the, the stunt team that's coming out, they're all from LA. 
Um, now, are you going to drive the tractor in the movie or are they driving the tractor that, in the movie? That's actually what I'm trying to talk them into now is letting me actually drive it just because yeah. I, I know what to listen for if something doesn't sound right. I So it sounds like they'll actually let me drive um, during the race. Um, there will be scenes of the actors sitting on the tractor driving it, you know. Uh, it'll look like they're driving it in the movie, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure all yeah. that stuff, you know. But uh I just feel more comfortable than having a stunt driver drive it and not know what to listen for if something was to go wrong. Okay, so I'm a marketing guy, Mike, and I'm already thinking, like, if I was you, I'd get as many sponsors on that tractor as I could. Right? <laughs> I'm thinking about sending you, like, 500 beer money pulling team stickers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They no, already... They're going to they're gonna catch on to that. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. how my sales mind immediately, like, ooh. I could put Schultz mortgage team on there. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, we we actually have a few that we're actually going to put on there that are our sponsors for the year. No, oh, that's awesome. So they'll, yeah, they'll be all on there. And is Element Outdoors one of them? No, no. Okay. I wish, but no. This is your chance, Element Outdoors. If you're watching, right? Get a little mic. It can make you famous. More famous than you already are. <laughs> so they so they came out. You know, kind of went through everything, and they kind of gave you. Did they kind of give you a gist of the story? Of the movie yeah so they kind of told us you know what's all gonna happen and and what's to expect um and and i pretty much know the whole scene the whole setup um obviously it's going to be a while because i think they're going to do some of the the other scenes in kansas i believe okay uh, in a couple of months um but yeah so we know the whole rundown of what we need to do and they're going to spend, uh, they're actually coming out next weekend. There'll be two or three guys coming next weekend to kind of lay out the ground and uh, get dust control set up for the road. And um, then they'll be back out on the 24th through the 27th, I believe it is, for the filming side of it. So do they come in and like get probably permits from like the city or the <laughs> county so you guys can zoom up and down the road and film? I, this is like, this is, reg this is legit. <laughs> yeah. So I actually work for the county here and I actually ah. blade the roads around here. So we <laughs> so uh, you have the smoothest roads in all of the county. Yeah. I'll be uh, making sure that that's all scraped down so it's not loose and we'll close down the road for the week that weekend. And, um, so yeah, it should be a fun time. They they had called today and want to know if they can set campers up and all of that stuff to do all their. It's gonna makeup. be like Field of Dreams, Mike. It's gonna be yeah. awesome. Yeah. So once they're done filming, I'm gonna get the Street Outlaw guys out of Oklahoma. We're gonna have the fastest classic modified <laughs> tractors in the country. Start yeah. dragging them on gravel and sand. You know, crazier things have happened. So. Yeah, you know, I even posted the, or tagged them in one of our posts of it to see if uh, Asian or one of them guys would would lock on to it but yeah charles posh who helps us on monday night let's grow pulling we're actually live on his page right now because he announces a lot of antique pulls in the winter and stuff he might he knows all those guys asian and um, farm truck and all those guys you never know you never yeah. know I'll, I'll run him down after the show and see what he <laughs> says. So, um did they give you like oh the movie will be released in 2023 or have they anything like that yet they have not um okay. I'm guessing by the fact that they were saying some of the filming was going to be in a couple of months, which would put us into closer to winter. I'm guessing, yeah. you know, probably next spring, next summer sometime. Um, is this like a Netflix thing or is it going to be like on the big screen if they said any of that? No, I'm, I'm assuming it's probably going to be more your Netflix type. I don't know. You know, they, they don't really. Well, but that's honestly gotten more popular now, Mike, than anything. I mean, the, the at home, you know, studio stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. No, that's cool. That is cool. Um, okay, so they're coming out this weekend to kind of start setting up a little bit? They're going to come out on the 14th, 14th or the 15th to kind of go over everything, check out the roads, check the barns out, check out the progress on Quick Draw. Um, just kind of get a layout. The The one guy had been here, um, but the other two have not. So they want to come check things out. Okay. Um, we're going to wrap up this interview pretty quick with Mike because I've already taken 30 minutes of his life and I can't pay him like the like the movie people can. <laughs> if you have any questions for Mike, please type them in the comments or anything like that. That'd be awesome. Mike, um, one question we ask every puller. This is Ryan Rusink's question. If you could take the keys to any polling vehicle anywhere in the country and past or present and not if you break it, you don't have to pay for it. Right. 
<laughs> what would you drive and where would you take it pulling? And you I'd like, it yeah, I'd like a freight line toter. Um, okay. <laughs> and I would probably head to Bowling Green. Okay. And what would you what would you pull out there? I would probably try and do a pro stock. Okay. Do you, are you a great green guy or a red guy or does it matter? Do you have a favorite I'm more, I'm more red. Okay. Yep. So you'd probably what? Let me think. Canes. Yeah. I'm trying to think of the big red ones out there. There's not a lot of big red pro stocks anymore. They're all John Deere. So. Yeah. So that would be, that'd probably be what I'd do. Do you have a favorite sheet metal? Yeah, I like the, the 806s. 560s. Yep. yep. Figured that. The square Figured body that. style. Uh, yep. Robbie's. Oh, yeah. Rob Russell's. There we go. That's a Cody <laughs> fan. So. Yeah. Yep. Good deal. Well, Mike, do you have anything else or we can wrap this up? I, I want to show that video one more time of you going down the road. Good. Uh, you see that, my side, the side shield decided to rattle loose as we took off. Yeah, I saw that right there at the end. <laughs> that was perfect. So, here's the. Here's the, what'd you call this, the, the the graphic, the digital graphics? I'll put this on the screen. I think yeah, it's, so it's yeah. The three, that's the 3D imaging that they'll release to us after we're all done. So we can use that for any kind of promotions and whatnot. The, Cody's, um, Cody Vanderholm's watching. He does a lot of video stuff. And I'm assuming that's just a buttload of pictures, right? And then they just ding, 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 ding all around? Or Yeah, yeah. So I had to send, I think there was a total of 47 pictures I had to send. And um yeah, they do all their their thing. Okay, favorite place to pull, Mike? Uh, I like going down to probably New Virginia area. It was a, it was a good track. It was with Midwest. Okay. Good speeds, good track. It was a good clay track. You know, our the two tractors they don't like the loose, either the real loose stuff or the hard pack, just because we don't run much of a cut on our tire. It's real thin. So gotcha. Gotcha. I'm just reading through some of the comments here. Get that going. I'm going to show the video one more time because it's so cool. <laughs> Did um, So they just found you on Facebook? Was it just dumb luck, Mike? Or yeah. Tell me, this is so cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm just... It must have been one of the polls that I put on a video of and, and they had seen that and and contacted about uh no knew if i had anybody i could talk to about racing a tractor and of course i was i was kind of dumb enough to say yeah i do <laughs> no, i know a guy <laughs> yeah so, waited till the end of the season obviously tire wise you know the tires yep. are going to need to be resharpened anyway so yep no i somebody commented uh, my tractor doesn't exactly run right now, Brad, but if it did, I might. We've hooked it to a baler and a rake before, so <laughs> you're going to watch now. There's going to be drag race and tractors. Actually, I've seen it. I saw some videos earlier out east of some guys that hit the wheelie bars, and I don't know if it was um, some guys in Pennsylvania or not, but it was just it was cool to see all that. So Yeah, a lot of them Ohio and Pennsylvania guys, they they know how to get it done. Yep. What's, um, how, what's the fastest you think you can go with it, the way it's set up right now? I was about half throttle, not quite half throttle. So, and that was, yeah, and we were about 54, but we, we called it 50. Um, yeah. So if we were on blacktop, I, I don't really know. I think we could reach 70 pretty darn easy. Yeah. That shorter wheelbase, does it stay pretty straight or was it starting to it walk? Does. Around? It felt like you were in a little doom buggy is what it felt like you were in. Okay. You know, it didn't shake around. And I think when them tires, cake, they take some of the beating. Yep. But uh, oh. yeah, it was smooth. It was it was fun. Well, I'm sure they do. Well, if you guys don't have any more questions for Mike, um, we're gonna we'll we'll let this go. We'll go for another 30 seconds. Who are your sponsors, Mike, that help you out and keep you on the track every year? Yeah, so I'll probably forget. But uh, we got Ron's Roofing out of Hampton. That's one okay. of ours. Um, we've got Tigo Farms, which are out of Hampton as well. They're kind of a big warehouse packing facility. Um, we got Roland Valley Farms, which is a, a local farmer that helps us out a lot. Um, we've got Bowers Repair Shop that uh, does small engine repair, ATVs, Rangers, and they're out of Latimer. Um, like your got, last name? Yeah, that's actually, it's ours. It's oh, ours. Okay. <laughs> you can say I, that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not the, I'm not the tax guy, Mike. You're good. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> and then, uh, 
Oh, gosh. Well, there's a Willie Sports Bar and Grill out of Hampton. Um, oh, I better look here and see and make sure I got them all. Yep. Yeah, I didn't give you a lot of time on this today. I like just I called you. I'm like, hey, Mike, let's do a show tonight. <laughs> right? Yeah, and then there's Green Acres Seed Farm, which is Landon Pluggy. He's out of out of Latimer here. They, they do a lot of a lot of seed. Um, nice. Yeah, and then uh, we've got Principal Builders, which is a, a pretty good sized building company out of Coulter, Iowa. Nice. So nice. Is your pulling season about done? Yeah, we've got two more hooks. Um, this weekend and next weekend. I don't know if I'll be able to make them. Uh, I know the kids want to go down and pull, so they may they may load up and go. Okay. Uh, we've got some birthday parties, and and then that filming is on the twenty fourth, which is that weekend. So, yeah, don't don't screw that up, Mike. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. gotta get quick draw on, in the movies. So, so I think the kids will probably load up and go down and. and are they going to leave the quick draw on it? Or are they going to like? Are they going to rename it like part of the movie? Well, they, want, gonna... they want it quick draw. They do. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So and we're actually looking for uh, anybody that's got a, a John Deere with a cab. We're trying to locate um, part of the movie scene. They're looking for a tractor like that that they can teach their daughter how to drive uh, here yeah. in the field. So anybody out there that's local that is listening, if we're looking for a, like a 4020 or something with a cab on it. Okay. Well, uh, that should be pretty easy with the people watching this show. So. Yeah. Yeah, no, especially in Iowa, out there. I don't think that'll be hard at all. So no, nope. any um any big national pullers are around your area? Like how close is um Chuck Knapp to you? Yeah, so Chuck's will be the closest. He's okay. uh, Charles City, so he's probably thirty minutes away. Thirty five. He, far he farms with Red though, right? Yeah. Yeah, he probably doesn't have any forty. Yeah, he wouldn't have. Any yeah, 40. you know though, I, I see the front of his tractor is John Deere though. Is it? Yeah, no, I've noticed John that. It's got, the, it's got the red and the green paint scheme on it, right? So yeah. Cody, get a hold of Mike and you guys figure that out. So Cody knows a ton of people. I would say I don't big big Rye hasn't jumped on the night. He might have some meetings at Tractor Zoom or whatever, but I think he would know somebody as well, too. So um, yeah, I'm just flipping through the comments. Well, cool. Mike, thank you for doing yeah, this. I thank you. Thank I appreciate you, it. Thank you for saying yes, first of all, because it's so good for the sport. And like I said. As you get some developments that we can share, please just shoot me a message on Facebook so I can share it around or whatever. Okay. Because um, it's just good for the sport. Anytime we can get pulling tractors in the limelight or pulling trucks, I'm I'm all for it and and just happy, super happy. Yeah. This is this is the kind of fun stuff that I, we go looking for. So yeah, no, I really appreciate you getting a hold of us. And well, I might have to get a hold of him then. <laughs> James is somewhere out in your area because they've come up to Richmond Center before. So yeah, yeah, they're down south of here. I think. I'm, I think they pull with you guys, or they have. They have, yeah. Um, they used to run around with Jeff Golly, but, but before Jeff moved to Arkansas. So okay. Jeff had the Butcher four by fours Pro Stock, I think. Okay. Uh, different associations call different classes and stuff like that. So. Yeah. Yeah, we'd like to kind of you know run around and uh, and hit some different pulling associations around the area. The just sometimes don't work that way. Yep. Shelby, I'm going to queue up your guys' Facebook page. I'm going to play some videos, Mike. If you want to hang out with me for a little bit while we play some videos. Yeah. Then we can answer some questions here if anybody's got any more. So this is fun. This is uh, – Yeah. Oh. I enjoy doing this. Thank you. Thanks again. So You betcha. So here's Midwest Pullers Association. This is the group uh, that Mike pulls with. The blue old sled. That's right, James. Now I remember that. So I'm going to jump into their video. Yeah, I, think, I think you may be on their old page. I, I know they got a new page up. Oh, crap. Yep, I am. Um, is it MPA, maybe? Is yeah, I think that's what it's under now. Okay. Shelby, help me out with the Facebook Shelby page. Shelby will probably jump on, yeah. That looks like the old one. Mid-America? Nope. 
Toma finds a rhino snake. Shoot. It's Midwest Polar's Association official. There it is, yeah. I know how that happens. Somebody else was an old admin, and they're not they're not letting you guys have the page. They're being jerks. It's <laughs> Yeah, it's a nice it's a nice club, you know. You're in and out of there. I think we can get done in three hours. I'm not sure on how many hooks, but there's a lot of hooks. But uh, they zing through them pretty good. Okay, here we go. There's Glenn Michael. He came to the state fair. I was announcing down there, so that's cool. Um, he actually bought one of our tractors not too long ago, so he'll be pulling a V8 as well. All right. So this must be what this is, Afton, Iowa, I assume? Yes. We so, weren't able to make that poll. We were gone that weekend. But if anybody rec recognizes any of these pullers, let us know who they are, what class they pull in. That, that makes it fun. Yeah. Um, uh, here we go. This looks like some maybe the, that two five two six class we talked about earlier. Yeah. You recognize the location of this one, Mike? I don't. Aaron Dewey said that was Ray Martin. Not sure if that's in Elkhart, maybe. Holy cow, that was an uphill run, Mike. Yeah, yeah, it gets them to slow down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's stock diesel in Afton, Iowa, Michael Kirk says. That's fun. That's always funny, too. I really want to explain to people that I don't know if people realize this. I've always taken this for granted, but they set the sled for based on the horsepower that's hooked to the sled, guys. Because every now and then I'll get people say, oh, I, I took my stock tractor and pulled it 290. I'm like, well, yeah, they had it set up for 290, and I don't want to be offensive, but I'm like, <laughs> that's how we do this, so it's kind of funny. So yeah. everybody, the sled operator knows what's hooked to the sled, and every now and then they get tricks, especially with some of these stock appearing diesel trucks, but for the most part, they do it. So that's Heath, Heath Evans' sock diesel. Cody missed a T in there, but I think sock diesel should be a new class, don't you think, Mike? I think so. I think so. Let's see here. I'll <laughs> find a couple more videos. Anyway, Cromwell, 2017. Uh, Conrad. Looks like Wayne Longnecker came with the River Rat back in 2018 for a test pass. I think that's pretty cool. Here's Cromwell. Well, we got David Weedy out of Mount Air, 97 Ford, getting ready to come down to current. Oh, this is the old page again. Usually I'm a little better with the old Facebook, but I'm not doing worth the crap tonight. We'll flip through, flip through some of these photos. If you if you know who these guys are, Mike, just let me know. This looks yeah, like yeah, you know, I'm I'm really bad with names. <laughs> um, okay. You know, we, we talked to almost all of these guys. Well, and, I don't expect you to know everybody. Yeah, no, I mean, great great people. It's just you kind of you don't get to know. No, I'll just flip through some of the pictures so we show off your club a little bit that you're happy with. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Hopkins, they do an awesome job photography. And I mean, they, we order quite a few of their pictures. They, uh, they're at every one of them. They pull as well. Um, and, and she does a nice job. Yep. Uh, what weight class are these, are your tractors in again? Can you cover that? Yeah. They're in 5,500 up to 6,200. Okay. Quinta Ward is bad reputation. Aaron must be the sled operator. Is that why he's saying he's in every video? So. Um, he's actually the flagman. Oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, he gets to he gets to know them all. <laughs> and this yeah. is only we pulled last year with these guys for about a half a season. We started pulling with them, and then this year we've pulled with them. So 
we're still getting to know who everybody is. Um, yeah. We, uh, but it's been fun. It, uh, and that's Mark's. He's, he's a heck of a guy too. him and his boy. They both have some really nice looking trucks, good running trucks. That looks like an open stock type of a class, like a 485, maybe cubic inch. That'd be my guess. On yeah, I think, uh, oh, I, I, Cody would probably know, but I think it's a, a pro stock class, they call it. Okay. And right here, fans, is how a pulling track is born in Iowa, right there. Yeah, that's actually Madrid. So that's the, the track just that you were on just a few minutes ago. So, and that is actually a new subdivision built right around it. So, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. Hey, there's a picture two. It's starting to happen. And that was good. Good, good. It was, it good, was black a good, dirt. good black dirt. Mike, this has been fun tonight. Thanks for doing this. Yeah, I know. I've enjoyed it. Appreciate it. That looks like a good pulling track. It was. It was nice. It, it deteriorated as the night went, but it was good. Yeah, black black dirt does that, unfortunately. So Yeah. Yeah, it uh it was really good. Mark was actually kind of in charge of all the, the pack and the grade and the, the building of it. And he did a nice job. Here's some stock pictures. These are always the best of video because something always breaks. So Mike and people <laughs> love it. <laughs> yeah. And a lot of them, you know, they drive them there and you wonder how yep. they're going to get home. Oh, the game over sled. I've hooked to that sled in New Vienna, Iowa before. Yeah, that's a that's a fun pulling sled. It uh, it takes off nice, but when it when it lands, you know it. It hammers you. Yep. People are voting for the location and date of my wife's class reunion next year. <laughs> Got a messenger chat going on here. Okay, that was Afton. I love that uphill thing. That is cool. I love that uphill thing. Yeah, we're hoping to uh, we're hoping to go there next year. Yeah, Shelby says we drive ours, we take chances, and you call Uber on the way home, Shelby. It's so gonna be okay. So yeah, it's a hundred seventeen dollars to go from Windsor, Colorado, to Denver, Colorado, to the airport for an Uber. Just did that on Sunday. <laughs> so. so are um, you guys all are you guys all done then this year? Yeah, I, I blew a tractor up in Wisner, so yeah, um, there yeah. wasn't enough time to get parts, and we had four or five points hooks left, so it was just yeah. it was a long summer. I was hooked 32 of the year, Mike, and I was tired, and my check yeah. was tired. So. Yeah, yeah, you had rough luck a week before that, too, I think, with your turbo or something, and then yeah, fixed that. And, yeah, yeah, Dad and I, I was announcing. I didn't have Doug with me, my normal guy, and they, put, they threw the zip tie on, and they teched it, and I didn't think about checking it, and Dad forgot to tighten it, so as he went down the track, it just loosened up, and then shut the guillotine on us so yeah 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 so we were hoping you know that iowa state fair would let us come back in down there and pull with them um during the fair i think they had some issues years back and and they haven't had them back in but okay we're hoping we're hoping we can get in there awesome <laughs> on, gotta find me a new video i see somebody was asking something about what what size engines are we running? I don't know if they were talking about ours or. Yeah, go just just talk about your tractors. Yeah, so we run two small blocks. <laughs> we, uh, we run two small blocks in uh, the Massey and, and Quick Draw. And then we run a big block in the other one, Pack and Heat. Nice. Nice. Here's a Pro Stock 4x4 with you guys. <laughs> Good running truck there. Yep. So there's Mark's tractor or truck right there. Right this there. one? Yeah.
<laughs> and you said he put that poll on, Mike? He did the matter of, yep. Okay. And if, I think it started back in the day with maybe his dad had originally started it or, or something there. Okay. But, uh, yeah. yeah What's they, the cubic inch on your small box? Um, 409 and 406. And the big block is uh, about 575, I believe it is. Okay. This looks like a beef of buck. I see concrete cowboy across the top of the Is that the Red Rock sled? Yes. Yeah, I we hooked yep. that with the Outlaws this summer. Yeah, that actually is a nice pulling sled as well. Yeah. Um, that would uh, that actually was Cody's dad, Dan, which is the the president of the club. Uh, oh, okay, that cool. Be, so I think that was when they first got it done. I believe in the first couple of test pass. Yeah. Well, here's a Ford pulling truck. We got to show. You. <laughs> choo 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 choo. This is fun. I mean, I this is fun because that's the stuff I don't see every weekend. So yeah, that's naturally aspirated two wheel drive. That's good. Yeah, and that one right there, the purple that one, that one runs hard. That's the hot one. <laughs> Marty fell ahead a little bit. Yeah, she she does a good drive, good job driving. That's a good. That sounded good. Good sled settings too. They really nailed that. That's Taylor Hopkins and the Country Girl. Thank you, Shelby. We should have just had you on the show. Right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. No, Mike. Thanks for hanging around a little bit, and showing some videos here. I want to. Yeah. I bet diesel trucks are really popular. That's really bringing in the young kids these days. Yeah, yeah. Actually, that's what uh, Austin wants to do. He wants to, he wants to get into the diesel. So, yep. We'll see. Tell him to keep saving those uh, jackpot purses, okay? Yeah. Ooh, I like this one. This is a good looking truck. found on Midwest Pullers, the official page. I'm going to put that in the there right now. And then we're going to go back. We're going to show some videos of pack and heat because we got to go out with Mike. And then we're going to let everybody go to bed. <laughs> so, well, there's that pack and heat. So this is Mike's page. Go to his videos. And Mike, so this says me 6,000. So where's this at, buddy? So that one was actually... Uh last weekend in nashua okay we we're trying to beat the storm oh yeah lightning was coming in the background and we uh we went heavy to light that night gotcha so here we go i'll turn the volume on The, the track went really fast. It was uh, getting a lot of holes in there from the heavier tractors first. And yep, you could hear the rev limiter. You're bouncing off of it quite a little bit. It lose traction. And 
Austin had a, a little problem there at the beginning of his hook and Courtney towards the end, she started bouncing around too, but all in all those good hooks. Yeah. Here's Courtney's video in the 5,500 pound class. She let out of it a little bit even Mike. Yeah, it got really bouncing there at the end and and through I saw Jay Ulenix Viper sled on the other track. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Yep. Pack and heat. Here's Austin in the six thousand. up on the rev, rev limiter a little bit there mike yeah yeah it kept breaking free on him his first pass it actually sideways. it kicked him sideways and brought him up on two wheels um Here's, yeah this the wild the wild ride in the 55 yeah okay yeah he was about out of here, you know. they had a nice crowd there mike they did they had a good turnout Tires. Yeah, yeah. It's a good thing he let out of it when he did. Yep, that's what he's doing. So let's see here. I gotta find some more quick draw. Dum, 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 dum. Here's my hook. This would be well, you tell me where this is. That would probably be Maxwell. So yeah, that was a, that was a good track. Maxwell I Mike, that's a good hook to go out on. There's a great photo of Quick Draw. Uh, thank you for your time tonight. This was a lot of fun. Thank you to everybody that was watching, asked questions and stuff like that. As Mike knows more and can tell us more, I'll be sure to share that around. And everybody, um, please share this around. Mike, if you could share this to your personal Facebook page, our interview tonight, I think I would really appreciate that. I will do that. And I really appreciate you getting in yeah. contact. And If you ever need anything, you know how to get a hold of me, okay? Okay. Appreciate it, Jason. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great night. Thank you.